Hey friends, uh, today I want to talk about a metaphor that I've really come to love, which is productivity as a mech suit. And, you know, partly this is just an excuse to talk about mech suits, because I think they're very cool. I still have a, you know, eight-year-old boy in me that's just like, oh, mech suits are so cool. You get inside this big robot and then you can blast things. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think it would be badass to be inside a mech suit, um, even though I don't want to shoot things or kill people. Um, being in a giant robot would be very badass. Um, but I think it's also a really good metaphor for productivity systems. And I want to talk a little bit about why. Um, I've been using productivity stuff for a very long time. I was interested in Lifehacker when that was a blog, and I read Merlin Mann, and I read David Allen's Getting Things Done, and I was using Gina Trapani's like, to-do.tech system for a while, and I don't know, Remember the Milk, and Astrid, that was a to-do list app that I liked for a while. I got really into org mode when I was in my Emacs era for several years. Uh, I've just always loved productivity systems, and they've helped me to, um, yeah, live a life that I'm proud of. And for me, I have a lot of positive associations with the word productivity and feel a lot of warmth and gratitude towards the different systems and tools that I've learned. And, you know, in the last couple of years, I've been sort of surprised to find that not everyone feels that way. And learning about other people's experiences, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, that people associate productivity with sort of grinding and burnout and just doing tasks and tailorism and I don't know, all this kind of stuff where it's like you're building these systems to just do more, do more, do more, do more, and you don't actually feel very happy or very fulfilled. And reflecting on that, I have been like, why is my experience so different? And why do I feel so positively towards these systems? Why do other people feel so negatively? And this metaphor of productivity systems being a mech suit, I think, really captures this discrepancy where, to me, if you are doing work that's not aligned with who you are or what you value or what your vow is, the work that you kind of came here to do, that you're alive on this earth to do, whatever your calling is, if you're doing work for someone else or for a company or a project that you're just not aligned with, that you're not feeling, that you're not enjoying, but you know maybe it pays the bills, maybe it's helping you pay off debt or pay for your apartment or your house or feed your kids or whatever. There's lots of reasons that you'd be in that situation, but you're just not loving the work that you're doing. Then productivity systems, keeping track of tasks, projects, notes, doing weekly reviews, all that kind of stuff, whatever it looks like for you, is kind of a grind and it's frustrating and burdensome and it's something that helps you do even more work that you don't enjoy or that you don't value or maybe even a worst case scenario that you think is actively bad for the world. Sometimes people have jobs where they're like, I don't know if I trust this company or its vision or the work that it's doing in the world or that it's really helping people. In fact, I think it's having a negative impact. Um, you can become very, very effective at doing harmful, bad work or just, you know, work that's neutral, that doesn't really feel aligned with your soul, that doesn't call to you, that doesn't bring you joy. And conversely, you can use these systems to do work that you really love, that brings you to life, that makes you happy, that expresses who you are at a really deep level and is very joyful and aligned for you, that's um, in alignment with who you are and what you're here to do, what you feel called to do however you conceive of that, if, if the work that you're doing, that productivity systems help you do, is deeply aligned for you, then I think, for me, at least, that's been a very joyful experience and something that uh, I love doing. And so, you know, with mech suits, uh, one of the tropes is, I mean, I haven't seen as many of these movies or TV shows as I might like, maybe, but one of the tropes, as I understand it, is that these are, you know, you're in this huge, powerful robot, and it can hurt you just like a sword could cut you or, you know, something like that. It's like if you use these big robots in a way that's uh, not 
in alignment with your body, then if you don't use it effectively, then it could hurt you and you could damage yourself physically or psychologically. Um, but conversely, if you are prepared and you're trained and it's doing work that's aligned for you, then it's something that works well. And so the way that I see it, if you use productivity systems for work that is aligned for you, that's connected to your values, that's connected to your goals, that's connected to your vision, as David Allen would talk about it, or I would say your vow, your calling, your vocation, then that's going to be a very joyful experience. You're going to be extremely effective at things that you really care about and seeing your ideas and your projects bear fruit in the world is going to be such a deeply fulfilling experience that you'll feel very grateful to these tools and appreciative of them and see their power as something that's beneficial in your life and for the world. And there'll be something that's just like, yeah, of course I want to use these systems because they help me to create such beautiful things. And of course, conversely, if you're using them for work that's not aligned for you, that's sort of neutral or even worse, something that you think is bad, then that's going to be psychologically really painful and you have to kind of coerce yourself to use them and it's going to hurt you and maybe hurt other people and hurt the world and you're just going to feel bad about it and burn out and it's not going to feel very good. And so I think it's really worth focusing on that first and coming into alignment with your life and the work that you're doing and the way that you're spending your time and energy. And then once you've done that work where you've you know, clarified your values and you've clarified your vow and your calling and what projects you want to be doing, what's really aligned for you. When you're doing work and, you know, contributing to projects that are very enlivening for you and connected to who you are and what you want to be doing with your time, then productivity systems will make a lot of sense and be something that contribute value to your life that are highly beneficial for you, that make you more effective at doing these things that you really care about. So that's my perspective on it. Let me know in the comments what your experience with productivity systems has been and uh, would love to hear about that.